Hello. This question is taken from Nanyang Primary, 2016, Berlin. We have two questions first. At 8 a.m., Mingwei started traveling from town A to town B. At 8.40 a.m., Ali started traveling from town B to town A. Mingwei's speed and Ali's speed were 45 km per hour and 30 km per hour respectively. They did not change their speed throughout the journey. When they meet each other, the distance from town A was twice the distance from town B. Why the distance between town A and town B? Well, this question may look difficult, may appear to be unfamiliar to some students. Nevertheless, remember, keep calm and always apply what you know into the question. So of course, I'll start off with the drawing of the distant line and with a bit of imagination, I will know how to so-called visualize the movement of these two subjects here. All right. Um, we don't know what mode of transport they took, but most likely looking at their speed, we, they could be cycling, but it doesn't matter. So for this illustration, I just suppose that they were cycling. So Mingwei started at 8 a.m., way before Ali started. So at this 8 a.m., Mingwei started, and we know that okay, he had traveled for some distance before Ali had even started. So we need to calculate the distance that Mingwei had traveled. So for the 8, 8 a.m. to 8.40 a.m., that is 40 minutes. So 40 out of 60 times 45, that will give us 30 kilometers. So we know that Mingwei had traveled for 30 kilometers before Ali started. Right, and then let's imagine that from this point onwards, Ali started and Mingwei continued his journey. Until so much so they meet each other. And we were told that when they meet each other, the distance from town A was twice the distance from town B. So if I were to call the distance from town B to be one part, then their distance from tau A would be two parts, right? So what's next? You see that how we make use of model to solve this question? And also, students, you need to know this speed concept. So we were told that Mingwei's speed and Ali's speed were 45 km per hour and 30 km per hour respectively. Okay, remember from 8 40 a.m. onwards, both had the same traveling time. Therefore, the ratio of distance covered is directly proportional to the ratio of the individual's speed. Okay, so the speed of Mingwei to Ali, we know that when reduced to the simplest form is 3 is to 2. So, on the same note, the distance covered by Mingwei and Ali, given the same traveling time, was 3 is to 2 as well. Okay, so let's say if Ali had traveled 2 units, Mingwei would have traveled for 3 units. Okay, and then let's look at the model closely because that's where the important relationship appear. See that? So one blue equals to two green. It's as good as saying one part is equal to two units. And the whole distance is three parts. So the whole distance in terms of units, in terms of the green blocks, will be six. Right. And now you see that how we make use of mother, we can actually solve this question easily because the answer is right in front of you. One green, one unit, equals to 30 kilometers. Six units for the whole distance between A and B, 180 kilometers. That's it. This is your answer. The distance between 
tau A and tau B equals 180 kilometers. Simple, you make use of your speed concept with what you're so familiar, so used to the model. All right, thank you for watching and do give me a like if this video is beneficial. And I hope to see you again. And all the best to all the physics students.